everyone, it's Melissa from The M Word. I am part of a collaboration hosted by Victoria at Home Educating the Mad Lads. Part of this collaboration is our just a monthly garden collaboration and it's just a bunch of, I think it's mostly homeschooling moms that are showing what their garden looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what my garden looks like. I didn't really want to go talk to myself with all my neighbors outside doing the things that they do at night. So I went ahead and recorded. So I'll just do a voiceover and I'll insert that here. Like I mentioned, this is a part of a playlist collaboration. So please check out the playlist in the comments and see what the other mamas are doing in their gardens. So this is my raspberry. It seems to be doing great. And considering I've planted about four of them last year and nothing took, I'm really glad this one is growing. On this other side though is the other one. So either it's my blackberry or my raspberry and I don't remember which one I planted where. This one doesn't seem to have be growing. It doesn't look like it survived. It looks pretty dead. So sadly, I think I'll have to grow that one again, but now I need to figure out which one actually took this year and then replace the other one next year. On my way over to my garden, I noticed that in the flowers and weeds around my propane tank is some wild black caps. I've tried to transplant them in the past and I always kill them off. I'm going to have to try to transplant again this year though because the propane tank is coming out and I don't want to lose those black caps. Here is the gate to my garden. My husband did buy whatever those log things are called from Menards and he created my fence and my garden for me and the gate as well. I think I've had the garden now for two or three years that he created it. We added the posts at the bottom this year to keep the cats and stuff out of the garden and the bunnies and stuff but this is my biggest tomato plant as you can see it kind of is tipping out underneath my little square tomato cage there so I was trying to pull it up in there a little bit more so it would stop growing on the ground I have this really tiny tomato plant here my son ripped the top off of it while I was planting he's only three so I'm just glad it didn't die a few more tomato plants here I have those big boy tomatoes and then i also have some roma tomatoes in here here i have some of my cauliflower i think i only have three cauliflower plants they seem to be doing okay but the leaves are getting a little bit chewed up and i didn't know what my cauliflower was a couple years ago when i planted it because i forgot i planted it so my husband put little stakes in there for me these are some of my peppers they seem to be doing pretty good but the leaves are a little crispy over here I have some of those eating cucumbers and then I've got the other three of my peppers there. And then just in a second here I show you kind of just an overview of my garden in general. It desperately needs to be weeded. The walkway is pretty good but that middle row is really bad. I have four broccoli plants through here and all four of them seem to be doing really good. The leaves look great and I'm really excited to actually have some heads of broccoli this year. Over here I have some bush beans. I really need to weed this out and the leaves look like they're getting a little rough but otherwise they seem to be doing really good. Here is where I put all the overflow of my tomatoes that I couldn't get to fit where the other tomatoes were. So they're a little crunched together but they'll be okay. And all these weeds here is a variety of carrots. I've got the multicolored carrots in there. Over here I've got some more peppers. I believe these ones are the habanero peppers. And then over here is just a few more peppers, some more weeds. I really got to weed this out. And then on this side is the short little tiny carrots. I'm hoping to find time this week to come in here and thin out my carrots and thin out all these weeds. And then over here is my pickling cucumbers. And I can't actually figure out where they are in here, but I know they're in there. This is the area of my house that just is just not pretty. And I need to come in here and weed it out. I did pull all those weeds out of the air conditioner after I was recording. This is the front of the house and the flowers there. On these little hanging baskets, I have a mixed thing of lettuce, and then I have more of my garden here. I do have a lavender plant over on that right-hand side up there. I have a little bit more lettuce here in this hanging basket as well. I've got some flowers that I really need to come out and deadhead. There's that lavender plant over there. And then I've got some really tiny lilies that are starting to come up as well. Okay, well that's everything thank you so much for watching if you have any questions for me please let me know the collaboration will be again next month as well so if you have any questions or want to see anything else in more detail please leave it in the comments below i'll be happy to show you or explain why i'm doing what i'm doing i might not have an answer but i will talk to you guys next time